The intention of a new law is good, but there are concerns it could make it more difficult to care for some of the elderly in our state. The goal of the new law is to help stop elderly abuse. It would require owners and employees of long-term facilities to give a fingerprint and get a background check. But the law also requires nonprofit volunteers who come into contact with any senior patients to also submit checks as well. That's creating some challenges for these nonprofit organizations. Latasha Givens has the story for us all new at six. Latasha? Well, Cheryl, the law is meant to protect our most vulnerable residents from being abused or scammed by people they come in contact with, either at a living facility or through volunteer groups who come inside their homes or have access to their personal information. But as nonprofits work to get into compliance over the summer, they're feeling the burden. Get to the other side. Jill Mannering is one of the 250 Mills on Wheels volunteers in Gainesville. I thought it was important to do something when I was retired to kind of give back to the community. It's a great way to meet folks and they're all good people. But in order to continue to serve the 22 families on his route, he has to submit to this fingerprint based background check. I think it's fine. I got nothing to hide. It's because of a new law taking effect October 1st, requiring certain nonprofit volunteers to undergo a comprehensive background check. Their fingerprint is checked against a national database. Mostly what they're looking for is real um, heinous crimes, uh, abuse, uh, serious theft, fraud, things like that that our older adults are particularly uh, vulnerable to. But the director of Hall County Community Services, Philippa Lewis Moss, says for privacy reasons, some volunteers don't want to participate. In our case, we actually may lose a handful of uh, volunteers, and in other cases with other nonprofits and who have fewer resources than we do, um, it could really uh, break them. There's also the price. Each check is $49.50 a person. A hefty price for nonprofits who depend on donations and now must pay for hundreds of their volunteers to be checked. We anticipate between now and September we'll spend about $12,000 just getting the fingerprinting done. She'd rather spend that money feeding the 350 families that depend on them each week. We could probably feed our entire senior population that's on Mills on Wheels for an entire month. Now, one way nonprofits can offset the cost is by sharing their fingerprint machine with other agencies. Right now, Mills on Wheels is sharing its reader with the local police department. Jeff, over All to you. All right, thank you.